Hello out there everybody, Manny here at Area 503, and I hope you all have been well since our last video. In today's episode, we're going to be covering some recent UFO sightings that I've run across. First, let's move over to Norway House, Manitoba, Canada, where people were enjoying the New Year's fireworks and they shot this footage. Later, when they got home, they were reviewing the fireworks footage and they noticed this strange UFO that they had not noticed while on location. Check that weird bugger out. What is that? I'm gonna try to get a good zoom on it. What do you guys think that is? A helicopter with a floodlight? Or a pilot with a fog light signaling the people shooting off fireworks maybe? The video is being shot from inside a vehicle, so perhaps it's a reflection of a nearby lighthouse on the vehicle windshield. It does resemble a lighthouse beacon. I thought maybe it could be something reflecting the light of the fireworks, but I quickly changed my mind because this thing appears illuminated when the rest of the sky is dark. Whatever this thing is, it does appear man-made to me. I just can't identify it. Have any of you seen anything like this before and can tell me what it is? If so, let me know in the comments below. I really gotta tell you guys, the more I look at this thing, the more mysterious it becomes to me. I wonder if messing with the color will reveal anything. <laughs> well, it looks like we made some pretty colorful imagery there, but unfortunately, I don't think this is going to help us determine just what that UFO is. One other explanation did occur to me. If this UFO was emitting some sort of infrared light, it would be picked up by the camera, however it would not be detectable to the naked eye. And that might explain why the UFO appears on the footage, but no one can recall seeing it while they were there. Or again, maybe it's just a reflection on the inside of the windshield of the vehicle, and that's why the observer didn't notice it. Either way, this thing is just as big a mystery to me as it was when I started this investigation into this UFO. So for the time being, I'm going to put this UFO in the unknown files, and I suspect at some point we may find out what this thing is, and that it's man-made. But until then, let's move on to our next sighting, which took place over Kingsburg, California on January 5th, 2020, where Tom the UFO was spotted once again. Wake up. Hey, wake up. Check this orb UFO out. It looks just like the UFOs that I featured in episode 50. So if you guys didn't get a chance to see that video, head on over and check it out after this one. This is some amazing footage of an orb or energy UFO. I have been seeing a massive surge in these types of sightings recently, not only in the Pacific Northwest, but I've been seeing reports of these things all over the world. So what are these things? And I say things because the sheer amount of the number of sightings and the immense distance between these events make me think that this isn't a single UFO, but perhaps a fleet of similar craft. But what are they doing out there? Are they unmanned observational drones with sensor equipment like we send to foreign planets in our own solar system? Or are they some sort of a man-made aircraft like a top secret drone or a Google balloon. You have to admit, it sure looks like a balloon. Back in episode 41, I was able to identify a UFO that was photographed during the day over Dayton, Ohio. Check that out, it looks awfully similar to the Kingsburg UFO. However, in the case of the Dayton UFO, I was able to confirm using Flight Radar 24 that this was a Google balloon by using its transponder signal. I checked on Flight Radar 24 for the day of the sighting over Kingsburg. They showed light commercial air traffic and no balloons. That's right, no Google balloons. Now I thought for sure Flight Radar 24 was going to show a Google balloon. But that simply is not the case. And so, no matter how much this UFO may resemble a balloon, until I see some evidence to suggest that it is, I think we can safely rule that out. But if it's not a balloon, what is it? I'm going to speculate here for a minute. Let's assume for a moment that this is an orb UFO 
that is displacing a tremendous amount of energy in order to move the way that it is. The discharge of this much energy into the air would heat the gases up in the air around the ship and the effect would be similar to a kind of neon light effect. And that would explain why this UFO has a sort of pulsing or rippling around it. It's a discharge of massive amounts of energy. But again, that's pure speculation. I'm really not sure what that thing is. So I'm going to file it away in my UFO files and we'll move on to another sighting that I want to show you guys that occurred on September 2nd, 2019 over Portland. Here's another example of an orb UFO filmed at night. We see all the same characteristics of the other orb UFOs that we've covered. And I just wanted to show you guys this quick clip to reiterate how frequent these sightings are becoming. I'll keep on cataloging them and bringing them out to you all until we can figure out what they are. But until we do, let's move on to our next sighting that took place on January 11th, 2020 over Los Angeles. A man working on a construction site noticed strange objects floating in the sky and took this footage. Check out these UFOs moving upwards. At first, I thought this was a string of mylar or party balloons. But wait till you see what they do next. Check these things out as they move into a formation. I initially thought that this might be a clump of balloons that had been released. I hope those are just balloons. They're flying in formation. I'm more than a little suspicious of that explanation. And it seems like the witness agrees with me. Look at that. It's in formation. Just watch how these things move. It's almost like they're aware of each other's surroundings and location and reacting to each other to remain in formation. It's damn strange. What do you guys think they are? It looks like there are some other objects out there as well, so who knows, maybe they were also interacting in this formation before the witness started filming. Or maybe it's just a clump of party balloons. Who knows? The wind's been blowing and moving the clouds, but those things are staying in formation. What's up with that? Either way, it's an interesting find, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in the unknown files. Let's take a look at one more sighting that occurred over Portland in October of 2019. I ain't never seen that shit in my life. Oh, look at that shit. That mother just came out out of nowhere. I see you, mother Yo, look at this shit. Wow, that's amazing. That light, the third light to the top of the right, just showed up out of nowhere. I'm sending this shit to security. <laughs> I don't talk to people about this normally because my think you crazy. Look at that shit that's going out right now. You see that? That's going out right now. It's moving a little bit and it's fainting out and it's gone. Homie, get in touch with me. I'll talk UFOs and aliens with you all day long. I don't think you're crazy. Now, maybe these are helicopters, but you don't see the red flashing marker lights. And why would a helicopter cut its lights like the third UFO did and fly blind? That doesn't make much sense. So I'm leaning towards the UFO explanation here. Check out another sighting from Portland right around the same time. We have another sighting of three UFOs flying in formation in broad daylight. I'm going to overlay the previous sighting so that we can see them both at the same time. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, I really think these are the same group of UFOs. And these are clearly not helicopters. So what are they? I suppose it's possible that there's some sort of military drone out of the local air wing but they really don't behave like any drone that I've seen, and they're certainly not any form of conventional aircraft. But I really can't determine what these things are, so for now, these sightings are going to go into the UFO files. Well guys, for now, that's all I have on UFO and UAP sightings. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503. 
and I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth.